Hello and welcome to another edition of the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week with me Craig Barton. Now it is no secret that I am more than a little bit obsessed with formative assessment. That's why I set up my diagnostic questions website, it's why I love multiple choice questions full stop. And a key tool of formative assessment is the exit ticket. Now I'm sure many of you watching this video will be very familiar with how exit tickets work, for, but those of you who aren't, Basically, it tends to be a single question or possibly sometimes two questions, but it's a pretty quick question to answer. They get given out on a little slip to students in the last five or 10 minutes of the lesson. Students answer them on the little slip of paper, hand it to the teacher on the way out, and the teacher can very quickly glance over students' answers, mark them if they need to. But the key thing is that the answers that the students give, give an indication of how much of that lesson's content the student has understood. Now, I like exit tickets, but I think there's a slight issue with them that I'm going to talk about um, a little bit later in this video. But this resource that I've selected this week is an absolutely wonderful bundle of top quality exit tickets. It has been kindly created and shared by M81, and it has the title Algebra Ex Exit Tickets. It's part of a series of number exit tickets. I hope if I could say this word, geometry exit tickets. And I've picked out three of my favorites um, from them. So the first is graphing inequalities. And you'll see that um, M has very kindly put them on a single side of A4, but then they are ready to be snipped into two. So it's not gonna to be too much pain for your photocopying budget. And we have there a drawing uh, linear inequalities. And there we have an identify the regions shaded by uh, linear inequalities. Then we have a wonderful graph exit ticket. And this is even better for your photocopying budget because this is four per A4. So again, Imagine, excuse me, you've taught uh, linear graphs to your students. Last five, 10 minutes of the lesson, cut this out, give each one of these to your students. Can they do them? Hand them back to you at the end. You have a quick glance over them uh, uh, the night after the lesson and it helps inform your future planning of the next lesson. And finally, I like this one as well, uh, factorizing quadratics, really nice little match up, factorize, expand activity for part A, and then can students factorize, really nice choice of questions, same signs for the uh, first one, different sign on the end for the second one, and then a lovely difference of two squares. So there you have it, exit tickets. Now I mentioned that I have a slight issue with them, and it's this, and th this comes from the, uh, the distinction between learning and performance. Now there's a danger with something like this, that you teach your students how to factorize quadratics, you give them an exit ticket at the end, kids all get it right, and you think to yourself, and I've been there myself, they've absolutely nailed that, no need to go back over factorizing and expanding quadratic equations again. And then what happens? You don't touch them for a couple of months, it comes to the exam or an end of year test or something like that, and all of a sudden kids have completely forgotten it. So the first kind of word of warning is, I, and this is more kind of a message for myself than anything else, is that just because kids get an exit ticket right doesn't necessarily mean that they fully understood and will retain the information um, from that exit ticket. It's an indication that they've understood it in the moment and that's crucial, but it needs retesting again. And that's gonna come to my second point um, in a minute. But what is definitely true is whilst you can't infer long-term learning from correct answers, you can certainly infer misconceptions and problems with learning from wrong answers. So if I hand out an exit ticket, uh, for example, this one here on uh, factorizing quadratics, and my students get different uh, of two squares wrong, then that tells me something. That tells me they haven't learned and understood that, so I know I've got to address it. So whilst I can't infer learning from correct answers necessarily, I can certainly infer misunderstanding or misconceptions from wrong answers. So for the wrong answers that they reveal, exit tickets are invaluable. I flipping love them from that. But how do we get around the other problem? How do we get around this fact that um, we can't infer long-term learning just from, from short-term performance? Well, what about this for an idea? What about the concept of a delayed exit ticket? So just bear with me here. Imagine I've taught factorizing quadratic equations, and then I'm about to move on to angle facts or histograms or something like that. What about instead of giving this exit ticket out at the end of the lesson on factorizing quadratics, instead I give this out at the end of the uh, a lesson on uh, angle facts or histograms. So I delay the giving of the exit ticket. Now I might decide to give this exit ticket out um, at the end of the quadratic uh, equations lesson and also at the end of the um, angle facts or histogram lesson. But I think that delays an interesting idea because that separates the performance from the learning, that, that taps into the spacing effect, that ensures that kids have had time to forget something, then you're retesting them again. 
and it's just much better for their long-term learning and retention. So I think there's potential for exit tickets to be used delayed over time, staggered intervals. So what I've started doing now is if I teach something and I'm about to use an exit ticket for it, actually I put that in my back pocket. I'm gonna save that for three weeks. Three weeks later, I'm gonna give them an exit ticket. So just as a little twist there, but listen, I think exit tickets are great. I think this is one of the best collections I've seen. As I say, it's, it's uh, one of just a subsection of, of more exit tickets that M has created. And I think they're wonderful. So hope that was useful. If you use it, give it a download um, and give it a little review here. Share your thanks with Emma and I shall return with a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.